It is going to be a great day. We're talking about some more sunshine, some warmer temps yes. as well. Yeah, a few degrees warmer than where we were yesterday. It's pretty much going to be a rinse and repeat scenario. Okay. We're going to have the sunshine, but once we get to the afternoon, we start to bring in some of those chances for showers and thunderstorms. That's when the rinsing happens. Yeah, that's when the rinsing yeah. happens. Mother Nature made her presence very much known yesterday with that thunder activity yesterday afternoon into yesterday evening. We're going to keep that into the forecast for at least the next couple of days before we've got a heat wave on the way heading toward the second half of next week and thunderstorm chances returning by the time we get to the end of next week as well. Tower cam over down downtown Detroit. A beautiful shot as you're waking up early this morning. A nice orange glow on the horizon as we head towards sunrise. Most everyone starting up into the upper 50s to low to mid 60s. 66 right now here in Detroit. 58 as you work over into Howe. 61 right now over in Pontiac and 63 as you're checking in with us down in Adrian. While we're dry on the eastern side of the state this morning, I'm keeping my eyes from Ludington down to Grand Rapids and Kalamazoo for some shower activity showing up already this morning. I think it fizzles out before it gets here, but once we get to this afternoon, we start to bring in those scattered showers and thunderstorms, and then we hold on to them into the early portions of next week as well before we get a dry day into the forecast, and then more chances for showers and thunderstorms roll in through the end of next week and into the first half of next weekend. So sunshine this morning, but once we hit peak daytime heating, 2 to 3 o'clock this afternoon, scattered showers and thunderstorms are expected. No severe weather expected, but you could get some heavy Heavy downpours with some of these thunderstorms as well. And by 10 to 11 o'clock tonight, we wind down the storms and go partly cloudy overnight tonight into early tomorrow morning. We do it all again on Monday. Sunshine to start Monday morning and then by Monday afternoon into early Monday evening, a few splash and dash showers and thunderstorms on the radar. But by 8 to 9 o'clock at night, we lose daytime heating. The thunderstorms wind down and we rinse and repeat again into Tuesday. A dry start Tuesday morning and then once we hit the afternoon, chances for scattered showers and thunderstorms develop. Once we get past Tuesday, the heat wave really starts to set in upper 80s on Tuesday. Then we are well into the lower 90s Wednesday through the end of the week on Friday before a dip in temperatures moves in by the beginning of next weekend on Sunday. But once you factor in the humidity, it's going to feel much warmer than that. An early look at our feels like forecast heading into next Thursday puts heat index values into the low to mid 90s by Thursday afternoon with air temperatures into the 90s as as well. It looks like we've got our first official summer heat wave on the way heading into the middle of next week. If you're heading out to Lake St. Clair today, not going to be a bad day on the water until the thunderstorms develop this afternoon. 80s for the air temperatures, water temperature right around 71 degrees with a low rip current risk and surf at about one to two feet as you're heading throughout much of today. We'll hold on to the sunshine this morning. 60s by 8 o'clock this morning, heading for 80 by lunchtime on our way to right around 83 degrees with a few thunderstorms by the time we get to this afternoon and you'll need that umbrella by the time we get to this afternoon for the Tigers game. It's a 12.05 first pitch at Comerica Park. We warm into the low 80s this afternoon with a few thunderstorms by the time we're winding down the game. The warming trend continues over the next two to three days. Upper 80s by the time we get to Tuesday with lower 90s on the way Wednesday through Friday and thunderstorm chances for the better portion of the next seven days.